flashing lights along Interstate 580, signaling one of the latest highway killings in Oakland. It's almost like you're rolling the dice every time you get on the freeway. People drive these freeways in fear, and, and myself included. Doug Harris's close friend, Gene Ransom, was shot and killed along I-880 in Oakland three months ago. Fast forward to Wednesday night. Passerby heard shots fired times four and then heard the TC. It may be related to shots fired eastbound 580 west of Seminary. First, reports of gunfire in this area near I-580 and Seminary in Oakland. Then a vehicle crash in the area. Three out of the four people inside had gunshot wounds. One party has a gunshot wound to the left shoulder and one to the head. He's awake and conscious. It started on City Street Start OPD. Two of the four people in the car died at the hospital and no arrests have been made. CHP is investigating and says the shooting incident happened on I-580 but has not said specifically where the shots were fired. We believe there is some shooting in the area of Lake Merritt involving this vehicle. Uh, the driver of that vehicle then tried to transport those injured people to uh, Highland Hospital. And en route to Highland Hospital, we believe he most likely crashed, rolled over. Alameda County Sheriff Gregory Ahern made a trip to Sacramento Tuesday and met with state officials in the governor's office about getting cameras. He says last night's shooting shows not only the importance for cameras, which have already been approved, but the need to install them as soon as possible. As to who is behind these continued shootings? We've identified in excess of 80 street gangs in the city of Oakland that are uh, somewhat connected to these violence. Uh, mostly three uh, identified gangs that have been responsible for most of those shootings. Every time I drive on 880, you know, I, I, I kind of cringe up when I drive by the area on Oak Street where my close friend Gene Ransom got murdered. Now Caltrans tells me they will begin buying these cameras this summer and installing them this fall. J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.